Hello Zero Wasters and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to share with you a recipe that I haven't published before on any of my social media platforms. The recipe in question is a handmade cream from scratch. And what I mean from scratch is by literally using oils and water and combine them together to make a super moisturizing but very lightweight cream. I don't know if you had the same experience, but for me, when I was trying to learn how to make handmade creams, uh, the recipe that I found online seemed very complicated with a lot of ingredients uh, and of course also very expensive and I was just very confused. Um, but in the end, after doing a lot of research and Finally, I realized that actually every cream pretty much follows a very similar pattern, a very similar structure. And once you understand this structure, then you can make your cream a little bit more complicated and bespoke. And to make this even easier for you, I've created a PDF which you can grab for free in the description box down below. And basically this PDF lays out the basic structure of a cream, plus uh, I will give you substitutions just in case you cannot find certain ingredients. So without further ado, let's just dive into it. Every cream is formed by a water part and an oil part. The water part can be made up by different water soluble ingredients, for example glycerin or aloe vera juice. The oil part is formed by an oil of your choice and optionally a butter. We also need something that helps these oils combine with the water. We call this an emulsifying wax. Finally, we need a broad spectrum preservative and optionally a fragrance like an essential oil. For the sake of this recipe, we will use very basic ingredients. Distilled water, an olive of choice, I'm using jojoba, but you can literally use any oil you want. An emulsifying wax, I'm using Olivem 1000. A wax that is accepted for using organic skincare formulations. I'm also using something called a co-emulsifier. Its purpose is the one to stabilize the cream even more, which means to avoid that the oil separates from the water part. My co-emulsifier for this recipe is cetyl alcohol. Finally, I'm using Coast Guard as my eco-preservative and tea tree essential oil for my fragrance. If you're interested to check what other kind of ingredients you could use in the recipe, make sure to check the PDF I've linked down below. Okay, let's start. We're going to start by weighting the distilled water inside a clean, previously sterilized with rubbing alcohol, heat safe beaker. And then we're gonna weigh the oil, the olivem 1000 and the cetyl alcohol in a separate beaker. Place both beakers inside a saucepan filled with a little bit of tap water and place this on the stove to simmer at very low heat. Let the ingredients in beaker B melt fully and the water in beaker A heat up. When both are at about 70 degrees Celsius, that's 158 degrees Fahrenheit, pour the distilled water inside the beaker containing the now melted oil-based ingredients. Mix with a clean spoon and then use a mini whisker or a stick blender to emulsify all of the ingredients together. They should now start to turn into a cream. Let everything cool down below 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit and then add the preservative of your choice followed by the optional essential oils and mix really well with a teaspoon. Pour the cream into a clean jar. Close the lid only once fully cooled down. Store at room temperature and apply with dry clean hands and use up within six months. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you do make the cream, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Bottega Zero Waste so I can see your creation and also if you have any questions at all, make sure to ask them down below. Until the next time, I wish you a very lovely day.